play out, Blaine? Well, let's start with Toledo's rushing offense, 11th in the nation in rushing offense, led by Bryant Kobach. He ran for 228 yards last week against Colorado State in an effort where his team rushed for 436 yards against the Rams. You look at, at, at uh, he is a, a physical runner. He can run inside. He got to the edge a bunch against the Rams. They did a very poor job of containing. You see him turn the corner here. We saw a steady diet of that all last week against Colorado State. Yeah, and BYU is coming off four Power 5 games in a row. Three of them ranked first-ranked teams, the only team nationally to do that. Toledo's the Cougars' first group of five games this year. Um, and when you looked at the schedule before the season, you kind of broke it into four really tough games to start, four medium games in the middle, and then four easy games at, at, the, uh, at the end of the schedule. And so for BYU, you're now starting that stretch of four medium-type games. And Toledo is picked to win the MAC. This is no just pushover team that BYU right. can walk in and just say, hey, we're going to cruise to victory. They've got to come in focused and be ready to roll. BYU without running back Tyson Williams. He tore his ACL against Washington on this play. Heartbreaking for this grad transfer from South Carolina. So his season is over. The replacements are grad transfer Emmanuel Isupu, who came to us from Rice and sophomore Lapini Katoa, among others. How does BYU carry the load today? Well, I, I think that Isupa was a pleasant surprise last week. I, he had some explosiveness to him. His field vision was good. And